Okay, welcome to Eden B. Eaton's Principles of Permaculture series. Today we are talking about defining the edge effect. If you hit the link up in the corner, you can see the playlist of all our videos in the series. We do Gliracidia, Chop and Drop, Living Mulch, stuff like that. So now talking about the edge effect, it starts with observing nature where edges meet. This tends to be places like gulches where a forest meets a grassland and a rocky outcrop and especially where we are here in Hawaii where the ocean meets the land. And these tend to be areas of profusions and diversity of life. And so basically what you're trying to do is take this principle and apply it to your permaculture design to try to replicate this uh, profusion and diversity of species and circumstances. And so what I'm going to do today is show you a real brief uh, illustration of this growing where our lanai, our porch, meets the stairs. We have all these ferns growing out, which is just lovely for keeping it cool, and it's really just beautiful to look at, so we like that. But then right around the corner, um, at the edge of, at the bottom of the stairs, where water accumulates and moisture accumulates, we have just a papaya tree coming up, a volunteer. We didn't even plant it, but it just sprouted up from a seed from who knows where. Um, and so we also have a few other things going, but, um, and also right next to it, we have plantain grass, which is an edible grass and medicinal, and that's growing right in the edge between the stair, um, the, the house and the driveway. And then also out of that moisture, we have a vanilla vine growing, and we have that edging all along the house, which is really super cool. So this is just kind of a brief example of how some circumstances in the edge uh, create something. And also along the other side of the stairs, we have all these Hawaiian chili peppers coming up in the edge where it meets, and even a volunteer tomato going up through the chili pepper, So it, and also peppermint all along. So it's like it's the moisture and the shade, yada, yada, like the edges create these possibilities um, for you, and so you can replicate that in your design and try to get the most out of it. All right, so um, if you want to see me making chili pepper water with these chili peppers next week, give it a shot, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.